Hi and welcome to Fluff Up. In this video I will show you how I felt in my own mini puff based on the new Ghostbusters movie. I start with a little ball of wool and start piercing it with the needle, adding layers of wool until I get the right body shape. It's okay if it's flat for now because we will make it puffier as we go. The arms and the legs are made in the same way by making a vague shape and then adding more wool onto it to make it stronger. I attached the limbs onto the body really early so that I could keep building onto it and make the connection stronger. If I did that later on, I might ruin the shape of the arms or the body while trying to attach them. ball of wool as the base for the head and then added layers to get the right shape. Now I get to shape the body into that puffy marshmallow look by adding more wool layers onto the body. Now that the body is mostly done, I get to work on the face. I used black wool to make the pupils for the eyes and felt them separate from the head. Once I had felted them both, I attached them to the face and then added the white of the eye. I thought this way I could control that they were more symmetrical even if the pupil size varied. For the mouth is the same as always, but using very small amounts of wool so that you have better control. For the little shine in the eyes, I used a very small amount of wool and carefully felted it onto the eye. I mostly kept pushing the needle onto the same spot and the wool gathered tightly around it. For all the details on the puff, we mostly just have to be patient and either keep adding wool for the puffy areas or pushing the wool where we want it to separate, like on the fingers or around the eyes.
you get to work on the hat. I shaped it halfway by itself and added the final detail in blue once it was attached on top of the head. Just a little piece of ribbon for the top of the head, unraveling just the end so that I could push it into the wool. Since it's not wool, it might not stay firmly enough, so I covered it with more white wool and then added the blue button on top. I had used some pink wool for the tongue, but by the end it looked out of place, so I replaced it with a little bit of the ribbon. And here is my version of the mini marshmallow puffs from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.